The hair color you were born with perfectly matches all the other colors on your body. You were born harmonious from the beginning. Dyeing, bleaching, and chemically treating your hair can be risky if you don't know the correct color principles. If you get the wrong hair color, it can look more like a wig than an enhancement of your natural beauty. I'm gonna guide you as we take a close look at your natural hair color. Once you know if your hair is blue-based or yellow-based, you'll be armed with the knowledge that you need next time you go to the salon or buy some hair dye for yourself at Sally's. I'm so excited to be bringing all this knowledge to you here on YouTube with the help of my beautiful grandma Renee. She is my mentor and we are doing a 12 part series on creating perfect color harmony in your life. This is video five in that 12 part series where each week we're going to be leading you through the basics of the blue base, yellow base color system and how to use this knowledge to your advantage in all aspects of your life. We are going to be going through blue based versus yellow based hair colors so that you can figure out which spectrum you belong to. If you haven't already watched my video on my top tips for analyzing color, do that before watching this so that you can get the setting and the lighting right so that you will have correct color identification. Remember that analyzing treated hair unfortunately will not work here. Unless you want to analyze the color that your hairdresser gave you just to see what it is, but we are looking at your natural hair that nature gave you that you were born with. So if you have natural roots coming out, you can analyze those, or you can actually analyze your scalp color. So part your hair somewhere so you can really look at the color of your scalp. If you have rosy pink skin on your scalp, then you're blue based. If you have more beige or peachy pink skin on your scalp, then you're gonna be yellow based. Blue based blondes are platinum blonde or ashy blonde. They will have natural lemony yellow highlights, not golden yellow highlights. So if you are blue based and you want to have highlights in your hair, ask for ash blonde or cool toned blondes. Blue based redheads have beautiful reddish brown, auburn, cinnamon colored hair. So it's not that bright orangey red that you would see in a yellow based red. If you have brown hair with blue undertones, then there will be more of a pink cast to your hair. And this is often referred to as mousy. People with mousy brown hair often get their hair highlighted. Dark chestnut is also a blue based hair color. So this is like dark chocolate or coffee colored. If you are blue based and you want to dye your hair brown, ask for a mahogany or a dark chocolate brown. Blue based black hair is jet black or raven black hair. If you are African American, then your hair will be very shiny as opposed to more of a matte color that yellow based hair has. Blue based hair that is turning gray is more of a blue gray and white is more of a snow white. You may even have purple highlights or silver. In blue based hair, red highlights are often present even if they're not the predominant color. So next time you're in the sun, look at your natural hair color and check out if you see any red highlights glistening. This red will be auburn, not orange red that you will find in yellow based hair. Men who have beards often will have these beautiful red auburns in their beards. Yellow based blondes have golden blonde or honey blonde hair. If you're yellow based and you want to get some highlights or you want to go lighter, ask your hairstylist to give you golden blonde, warm toned blondes. It's actually a lot easier for hair to get yellow pigmentation in it, especially when you're going from dark to light. If you've ever gone from dark to light hair, you know what I'm talking about, where you'll go through this orange phase of hair and it's really, really hard sometimes to get reds and oranges out of your hair to create that platinum blonde that blue base looks so good in. So as a yellow base person, it actually is easier for you to get highlights and not damage your hair as severely. Yellow base red hair is orange rust or golden carrot. This red is bright and unmistakably red. Yellow undertones in brown hair show up as golden brown. Black hair on a yellow base person is off black almost brown. If you're African American and you have black hair with yellow undertones, then it's gonna be more matte 
not as shiny as a blue-based person's hair. Yellow-based white hair is cream white with an overall yellow tone. Gray hair that's yellow-based is very peppery and dusty. In yellow-based hair, golden highlights or orange-red highlights are common. You can find these yellow-orange-reds in men's beards and mustaches. For more examples of blue-based hair and yellow-based hair, visit my Pinterest account, Beauty and Soul Studio. I have gathered pictures of blue-based hair, yellow-based hair, blue-based palettes, yellow-based palettes, so you can use these as tools to pull from to create color harmony in your life. Have you ever dyed your hair the wrong color for you? Hopefully now you'll be able to make better colored decisions. Let me know in the comment section below what your biggest takeaway was from this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video where we analyze your eye color. That's one of my favorite things to analyze. I'm so excited to share that knowledge with you.